Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, and I'm here to help you with some advanced ascension. How did the Lionsgate go for you? For some people, it's still continuing. So while some people felt an exact surge on August 8th, many people are still reeling with the blows it's dealing, opening their new lives, and yet some of it has no context for what you're doing or why or where is this going. So I have two words for you about this. Cosmic healing. Okay. So cosmic level healing involves things such as let go of your cosmic soulmates. Many times they have been confused for people that you thought they were and they've been somebody else and in the past especially and your soul wants to sever or alter that relationship somehow that connection now a big part of what is happening is what i call cosmic level healing there's three parts to this the first part tends to happen passively which means that you notice you're getting bumped around you notice yourself getting overwhelmed and you notice that there's things changing but yet you seem to hit some dead ends okay there's a reason for it number one you're not here to live a dead end life you may not know what is next okay i know what's next and i know how to get you there but let's go further with this even though you do not know what's next there's a thing happening you can't fall through the cracks okay you're here to do this thing and at the very least, you're not here to drag down people who are doing this thing. So let's pay attention. Do you want to be one of the people that gets to their destination? Or do you want to be a lead weight? In which case, stop being part of the problem. And let's focus on what this energy is trying to do for you and honestly for all of us. You can feel like people are pushing you out. That has a purpose because you have such a big heart. Many of us have such a big heart. We would linger in it if allowed to our own devices. We would stay and we'd try to make nice and we'd try to make amends. And instead, you have to call it a job well done and move along. You did your part. You did the best you could under the circumstances. And it's time to fish or cut bait. And many times you are cutting that. Sometimes this feels like a physical sensation. So let me ask you something. Do you have some heaviness here over your chest? Do you feel like there's things you'd love to take out? Do you feel like you're literally cracking your heart open and yet it causes some other sensations or things you can call symptoms yes yes and yes and wait there's more do you feel like people are pushing your buttons and yet you want to avoid conflict along with the um cosmic level healing comes a form of weakness not emotional weakness not a diminishment of your you know spiritual warrior side it's not that you could feel weak in your limbs, okay? You can feel weak in your limbs and I know how to get your energy back for you. I know how to get back that which should be given back to the rightful owner. Where people are not a shocking drain on you, people are not energy vampires or any of the other words to describe it. As you know, bottom line is why are people pushing and poking and, you know, grabbing at you when you need to get to your destination. So I know how to help you easily, gracefully, fully detach and move along where, yeah, it could leave their heads spinning and they'll just be wondering, who are they going to fight with next? But we are out the door because that is what that portal is for. It A portal is a port an opening a doorway a gateway and you need to get through it over the threshold and on your way 
you could feel um, that you need to really set strong boundaries, but if you're not setting energetic boundaries, it doesn't matter how you're using your voice because this is not really found just in the throat chakra, okay? It's not speaking up and yelling at people. It's not debasing yourself and meeting them where they are. Your caravan has to move on. Let the dogs bark. That's a paraphrase of a roomy expression. The dogs bark, but the caravan moves on. So you'll find that people who want to fly don't crawl around with the other things on the ground. How do you stay grounded in this and not be on the ground? I know how to help you do that because I know how to up-level you. It is my work that helps you with these integrations that others don't know. And I would be remiss if I didn't say that. I, I know very full well what I do and what my gift is and how to help people. Some of the other things about this energy is it's time for accountability. That means next level self-care. That means learning your energetic bodies. That means learning about this process, not getting angry at it. Do you find that you wake up with anxiety? Are you struggling on your job and you just like get angry because others don't know what a golden light you are or what you're bringing into their office space, into the workplace? Look, you're shedding your light wherever you are, okay? You are going to light up shadows, but it's not your job to, you know, do everything on behalf of other people. They can't drag you down, but nor should you position yourself energetically, vibrationally to, you know, that level where it feels like you're being pulled down or still in. Do you feel overwhelmed? Do you feel like there's just so many things rushing in, rushing at you? There's a hurry. Well, there is a reason for it. We're coming up on the next season. Whatever you did during the Lionsgate should have propelled the changes you want to see. If you do not use that energy wisely, there is still some time to do it. And yet it's up to you. Your creator goddess, and that means creating what you want, not what you want more of. Okay? If you don't want more of the mind trash, it's time to clip that off so that you can open your wings and spread them and get where you're going. Do you feel the heaviness here? Do you feel it around your shoulders, your solar plexus? That may mean that you're gearing up for a dimensional breakthrough. If you do not know how to do that and begin putting your footholds in the dimensions where you need to, your life will feel like it's not supported, um, it may make you feel like there's karmic stuff dragging you down. And yet, I say to you again, there is a way to clip that off so that you can up-level. Okay, even though you feel like this is up-leveling, let me give you another comparison. You're climbing the mountain. Now, people like to pride themselves when they're a spiritual warrior and saying, you know, I'm climbing the mountain of self. I'm strong. I've overcome so many things. Letting go of an entire dimension is a task and it will take a while and doing it expediently is something that I am adept at. I'm like that, you know, top Sherpa getting you to not only the base camp, but summiting where you need to be and everything that goes with it. With the recommendations, are you feeling it's time to get your channels open? So let me give you some other ways or clues that you should be paying attention to. Do you find that you're getting maybe bored or blasé about things like seeing numbers, like 1111s? Do you find that some of the messaging out there, it's just too vague and nothing's happening in your life? Do you feel that this is starting to cause um, minor health issues, I'll say, you know, if you have a major health issue, definitely you want to get some help with that. But if it's minor health issues, hey, 
these could be part of your ascension and I never recommend that you just overlook them. If you have unaddressed ascension symptoms, time to come to someone who knows, like me, advanced ascension, okay? You'll find yourself milling about with the same old people if they're boring you, if it feels like they're showing up with the same stuff, okay? That's going to drain you. And you're intended to get away from earth to a level. You're intended to up level and not be part of the muckety muck down here. There's things that go with it and there's things that you will experience as you do it. But this is what I tell people. Don't just take it on blind faith. Let's get you open to the next level so that you can truly see it and not just go by the word of people that they seem to be doing it when you're saying, gosh darn it, when I would like, when am I going to have that experience? I would like to have those experiences. I would like to lead my own life. I would like to not just tune in like it's a weather report and should I have an umbrella or, or not? You want to be able to navigate this and be more self-guided. Your higher self is ready for you to reach up and I'm here to help you integrate up level, discard what you need to discard, and gracefully get through the cycles of channel opening that you need to. So whatever your belief system is, okay, if you've gone into a form of saying, well, I'm still ascending, but I'm not so sure about some of the other stuff, you still always have you. You're always going to be you. Don't you want to be the best you? Or if you say, I want to get to my destination, I've felt since I was a child, I'm here to be with someone. You still want to be your best you. So let's get started. Check the links below for the help and watch for my upcoming classes. I'm going to have a class on Beyond Your Five Senses. It's really going to be a good class. I mean, there are like, I don't know, 30 senses that you have to gear up for here. And they are delightful because those are the things that give you like continual high level experiences on your own from the comfort of your own home and it's amazing i will have another one on what i'm uh, calling on the job and how to navigate being an ascended person amongst other people who may still need to wake up and to not pity them or not to keep getting angry and wishing something would wake them up but to simply navigate your own life while you get paid for what it is that you need to do. I don't recommend that people quit and there is a way to navigate this because for most people, I don't want to see you go on to disability. Disability is a pittance. I want to see you with your skills and your gifts and advancement, whether it's at that job or whether you leapfrog to another job or whether you start your own thing, which I know about because Grabbing your spirit and opening yourself and spreading your wings, it leads to some natural entrepreneurship and success. So if you feel you've been not so successful, please don't feel that way. The Lion's Gate was a natural ending. There's also natural endings around this time of year. Time to go to school. Time to join my classes. Time to have a session. Have a session and find the difference I love to get people jump started again, help you refresh if you even if you've been on the journey for a long time, okay? Or if this is new to you and you're getting confused out there, we bring it back to you. So join us, check the links below and check it out. Advance yourself in your own journey. Thank you. Bye.